How's it going, guys? So today I've got a Furion Vision S. It's the vehicle observation system that we're going to open up and check out, and we'll uh, install it. So as you can see, it's got uh, up to four cameras that it can view. It's got a, a rear camera, two side marker light cameras. Uh, there's the part number. It's a F O S O seven T A E D. Some of the things it has: uh, 120 degree viewing angle, infrared night vision, uh, 720 by 480 camera resolution, uh, motion detect. It's waterproof. It's got a seven inch screen. Uh, all in all, pretty nice, uh, nice little system here. So we're gonna see. Uh, what we got so we're going to open up the box and see if we can uh, learn anything here see what kind of quality we've got uh, some of the reviews online said you know that this thing was really nice kind of pricey uh, but uh, convenient so here you see that's the screen that's a seven inch monitor and what, i'm going to take all this stuff out of the box and kind of you know, show each piece. Here's the uh, instruction booklet. Uh, that's the backup camera. It's got the red marker that basically goes in place of your existing marker light, which I'm not sure why they quit or don't use the little shark fin one. That was one of the complaints because, you know, most people already have a shark fin, uh, but I don't, so doesn't bother me, but I know a lot of people do. Anyways, that's the uh, stand. That's a suction cup mount. And that's some extra screws, little bitty, teeny tiny screws, and you'll see uh, what those are for here in a sec. So here's uh, all the parts uh, opened up. You see your uh, side view cameras, the rear camera, the mounts. You got a table mount, uh, you got the suction cup mount and the screen. Um, you've got, uh, here's the red marker light for the back, for the backup camera. Um, comes with, uh, you know, the, all the wires are labeled. You've got basically a ground wire, positive wire for the light, and then the camera wire. That camera is adjustable, so you can tilt it up or down to, you know, view the angle that you want to, you know, if you want to look at your bumper or you want to look more down the road behind you, uh, you can. Comes with the antenna that gets attached there. And you got the accessory lighter, cigarette lighter type of plug for the uh, monitor. Here's the side view camera. You can see the little infrared uh, lights uh, for your night vision. Uh, these side cameras are not adjustable, so, you know, they just kind of point, they don't go straight down the camera, they kind of point out a little bit, but this is how you take it apart, and you see those little teeny tiny screws, uh, unless you have a magnetic screwdriver, you're probably going to lose one, that's why they give you that bag of extra screws, so you can replace them. So uh, you've got four screw holes that will mount onto the side of your trailer uh, and you will attach the you know, two wires, uh, positive and negative, and then you've got your third wire uh, to attach for the camera. And like I said, uh, having a magnetic screwdriver is definitely handy because those screws uh, are small and you've got a pretty good chance that you're going to drop one or two of those. And if you do, you're pretty much not going to find it. So when you take off the screws, uh, the camera separates away from the light. And once you have it separated, then you can, you know, wire it up and mount it. So these things are actually put together real nice. Uh, it's got a, you know, good feel to them. 
you know, I'm think I might end up changing those bulbs to LED uh, light bulbs, but that's down the road. So here's my existing, and uh, you know, it's kind of covered with caulking. So take that apart, and you see I've got a white ground and a green power. Now, if you wanted that uh, light to come on automatically, you can hook the camera wire to the um, green or whatever color yours is to turn on the light. So anytime you turned your signal on, it would automatically come on. Uh, so I actually didn't do that. I, I forgot to film this part, but I actually ran an extra power wire there so I can have this thing on all the time so I can actually watch it as a security camera inside of the trailer. So I'm just finishing up on the crimp connections here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave those as they are. I'm probably gonna go back and actually solder those, but uh, I had those on hand and I don't know if you can see all that water dripping. That's actually from the air conditioner. So it was kind of getting in my way. I was trying to hurry up and I was like, well, let me just get this side done so we can get it uh, put together and test it out. And, uh, this is the power wire that I ran, and I have it as a constant hot. So uh, that little brown wire is gonna attach to the like camera wire. So put it to that back together there. You see that side. Here's the uh, driver's side. Now we're gonna go to the back, and I apologize for this sloppy viewing, this uh, view here. So you can see my old camera. It's a, uh, rear view safety, it's an actual wired camera, but uh, my little three quarter inch marker light, after I pulled it out there, I have this extra blue wire because my trailer came pre-wired for a backup camera. So that's what I'm going to attach my camera to to power it, and I should be able to get power to watch it inside the trailer. So... Uh, I've got it hooked up and you can see the little lights on so I've got power and there's that there's one of those little tiny screws and I tell you those things are uh, easy to drop and lose so like I said have a magnetic screwdriver or uh, just you know <laughs> be careful with those things because you can lose them easy especially when you're standing up on the ladder and uh, so that's pretty much the uh, installation of this thing um, put the lens back on. Uh, I still need to take off my old camera. I didn't do that yet, but uh, here we go with the test of the screen. We're going to turn this on, see what we get. Uh, if you're in Vision S, it's on. Hey, we've got power to the back, and this is, I'm inside my trailer, so uh, that's the rear camera. And the rear camera actually has a, a microphone in it. So if you're in the back and, you know, if your spouse is, you know, helping you back up, they can actually talk to you and say, hey, go to, you know, driver's side, passenger side, or back up, slow down, whatever. So that's kind of, you know, it's kind of nice. Uh, here you can see the, you know, different side views. You can add the grid lines. Uh, you can have the, you know, multi-view. That's... Uh, I don't have the extra camera, so that's why I have that one uh, dark spot there. You can pair. Um, I accidentally pressed this uh, pairing button, so all my cameras were already paired, so now I'm gonna have to go back outside and repair it. Um, but all that is is, you know, you push the little pairing button on the bottom of the, of the camera, and it pair, and it's pretty quick, so. Uh, here we are back after I've you know re <laughs> repaired the camera. Uh, here we are back, and you can see the you know that's the multi view. Here's the rear uh, grid lines. So we're gonna take this thing out and uh, check it out in the truck and see uh, how it works in the truck. Okay, there's the trailer. Here's my truck. I'd say that's. 40 feet away, something like that.
don't have a door camera. Left side, right side, back, and you can hear the birds chirping in the background, I guess. You all. And you can go in here and do some setup. You want a mirror. Say the back. I already have it mirrored. But if you want it normal or you can mirror it. You can also make it upside down. Why you would want that I don't know. Same with the other cameras. So as you can see, this thing is pretty responsive. It's pretty quick. Uh, as I touch through this thing, I mean, it's it pretty much changes through the screen more or less instantly. So it's it's not bad. Uh, the quality is pretty good. The picture is pretty good considering how far away I am. And like I said, I'm not uh, I'm not connected to the truck, so. This thing uh, seems to be pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.